Now that you're familiar with VLOOKUP and its arguments, let's create a new VLOOKUP formula. First, let's go into Excel Preferences and turn on the Function Autocomplete option to help us write the formula. In Preferences, click Autocomplete and then check the Show the Autocomplete option if it's not already selected. Now, back on the spreadsheet, let's use VLOOKUP to show the stocking status for the entered part number. First, I'll add a label to this cell. Then, in cell G4, I'll type an equal sign to begin the formula. Notice when I type V, Excel shows a list of function names beginning with V, and VLOOKUP is right at the top since it's the one I used most recently. Now, I'll press the right arrow and type a parenthesis to begin the arguments. Notice how Excel lists all of the VLOOKUP arguments in the tooltip. Our first argument is lookup value. As in the previous lesson, we want the value that is entered in cell G2. Instead of typing the cell reference, I can just select it. One important note about the lookup value. The value must exist in the leftmost column of your spreadsheet. If the value entered in cell G2 doesn't exist in the leftmost column of the sheet, for this sheet, the part number column, or column A, VLOOKUP will return an error. It doesn't have to be column A, but no data should exist to the left of the column that contains this data. Next, I'll type a comma, and then the second argument, table array, which again I can select from the sheet. Notice that Excel adds the range A3 through D52 to the formula. Another comma and then the column index number, which is the number of the column that contains the result we're searching for. In this case, it's four. One, two, three, four columns from the left in our table array. Keep in mind that no matter where your data exists on your sheet, the column index number is always the number of columns from the leftmost column of data. Finally, another comma and the last argument, range lookup. Again, we need the part number we entered to be an exact match, so the argument is false. So in English, the formula reads, in the leftmost column of the range of data A3 through D52, look up the exact value entered in cell G2 and return the corresponding value from the fourth column in the data. Now, when I press return, since there's already a part number in cell G2, VLOOKUP returns the correct stocking status for that part. Enter another part number and Excel updates both the part price and status using a slightly different VLOOKUP formula for each result. So those are the basics of VLOOKUP. Be sure to check out the function reference in Excel Help for more information about VLOOKUP as well as other functions that can help you get the most out of Excel.